this out, you're going to want to use your 9 16th to go ahead and take the plug off. Before we drain it, we're going to go ahead and take off the oil cap. Alright, you want to get your oil drain pan positioned so that the oil can flow freely and not make a mess. Ready? drain now. It's got a little bit of excess popping out. I'll wipe this down. Definitely got signs of a little oil leak under here. Slight leak. Alright. Alright, so then what we want to do is get the plug. Let's go ahead and pop that back in. back in now we move on to the filter all right so the oil filter I'll go ahead and uh, show you here it's right up through there now you can access it from down below but what I actually found is it's much easier to just go ahead and grab it from the top so we're gonna do that from the top of the engine bay getting loosened up all right and from the top is where our oil fill is now we go down here there's our oil filter right there. That's what we're going to be going for. Alright. These bad boys come in handy. Alright. I think I loosened it enough with my little grips. Let's see if I can do it by hand. Yep. Alright. Now key is to try to tilt it upwards since this is at an angle mount to try and minimize as much oil from dropping down below as I can. a little 
bit of the oil's dripping down. Got most of it out. A little bit dripped through onto the axle ones running back. Very slight amount. like that. There we go. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna pop this bad boy. Bit of a bad angle here. Alright. If I can find the sweet spot here. been nice if the auto shop didn't give me one that's got a little bit of a dent in this side but it is what it is well as you can see we got the new oil filter installed looking good so we're gonna go ahead pop in nice little spoil from it now we're gonna go ahead and start getting some of this oil in there This is going to end up taking all five quarts, but we're going to get a nice good chunk of it in here. And we're going to go ahead and fire it up, let it pull some of that oil back through the filter, get it into the engine a bit there, and then uh, we'll go ahead and check our oil level and finish it off. got quite a bit more oil to pop in there. So we just tapped off the oil here. Go ahead and check and see where we land. Right out there, get it wiped off. Right. Let's see what we got. And as you can see, it might be a little tough on the camera there, but uh, we're right, almost smack dab center, right where we want to be. So perfectly spot on. this back in here that's a job well done
that is an oil change on a 1994 Ford Bronco.